asymptotes and the holes for the graph. Now, asymptotes are um, places on the graph where they are not part of your domain. Okay, so you have a break in your graph there. The difference between a hole and an asymptote is with an asymptote, I'll just quickly draw an example here. This is not necessarily this graph, but could be a graph. Okay. Um, well, I can do this graph maybe. Okay. We get an asymptote, and if you're using a graphing calculator, it will show up as just a line kind of in the middle of your graph. Um, if you're graphing on paper, we usually use a dotted line because it's not part of our graph. Okay. And so the asymptote, if you get one of those, what happens is your graph approaches it but never actually touches it. So the graph just kind of runs right alongside it. Okay. So notice in this example, this is an asymptote. And also this axis right here is, is a horizontal asymptote. So that's what they look like on your graph. Um, on the other side, the same thing kind of ha would happen. So again, it, those are just sketches, but an asymptote, the gr graph approaches it, runs right alongside it, but never actually um, ends up touching it because it's not part of the domain. If you have a hole, on the other hand, and this actual function doesn't have a hole, and I promise we will quickly <laughs> get to um, just solving the problem for you. But I just want you to see the difference between a hole and an asymptote. If there's a hole in your graph, it will look like this, for example. And there will just be an open spot. There won't be an entire line in your graph. Okay, if you graph it on a graphing calculator, you might not even see the hole. You'll just notice there's not an asymptote there. It doesn't give you a vertical line or a horizontal line. Okay? So that's what they look like when they're on a graph. And again, their breaks in our domain is where they occur. So let's get to finding some of them. I suggest, even though they list holes last on what you're supposed to find, you need to find the holes first, okay, if there are any. And holes, what they are, are kind of removable um, breaks in our domain. And so what you do is you factor the numerator and you factor the denominator, which in this case is basically already done for us. We could factor out a 2, but not any x's in the bottom. And if there's any common factors, you would cancel those. There are not any common factors here, so this one has no holes. And you may under, understand the whole um, common factors thing a little more when we have one that actually has a hole. <laughs> okay, so this has no holes. But you want to find the holes first um, anytime you're doing a problem like this. This doesn't have any, so we just continue from there. The next thing they ask us to find, we would find, are any vertical asymptotes. The vertical asymptotes are, if you look down here, are wherever the denominator equals zero. Okay, so we take this function and we take the denominator just like when we're finding the domain because that's where we get our vertical asymptotes is where we have breaks in our domain. And we set it equal to zero. So this tells me that I have a vertical asymptote at x equals 4. The vertical asymptotes will always be x equals. Um, anything horizontal will be y equals. Now, horizontal asymptotes are a little different. You have to, what you do is you look at the degree of the numerator and degree of the denominator. And remember, degree is the highest exponent that you have. So if I look up here at my denominator, it has degree 1. It's so x to the first power. So the degree of the de numerator is 1. And the degree of the denominator is 1 also. Now, here's our rules. You look at the degrees, and then you follow these rules. If the degrees are the same, which is in this case, you divide the leading coefficients. So again, the leading coefficients is the number in front. So in the numerator, my leading coefficient was 1. In the denominator, my leading coefficient is 2. So the horizontal asymptote is y equals 1 half. Now, you want to pay attention to the degree first, because the reason that happened is because we had the same degree in the numerator and denominator. Then you divide the leading coefficients. 
There are other rules. If the degree in the numerator is less than the degree in the denominator, it's always going to be the line y equals 0. And if the degree in the numerator is greater than the degree in the denominator, then you will have no horizontal asymptotes. But in this case, the degrees were the same, so you divide the leading coefficients. Now, the answer to this problem, there is a vertical asymptote at x equals 4 and a horizontal asymptote at y equals 1 half, and there are no holes. Okay, here's another example. So again, we would first want to find the holes. So to do that, what we're going to do is take our function here, and we're going to factor numerator and denominator. Now notice the denominator down there. My factors of um, numbers that multiply to be negative 10 and add to be negative 3 would be negative 5 and positive 2. Okay, the reason we do that is because holes are anything that can be removed kind of from our function. So anything that could be canceled in the numerator and denominator. In this case, I don't have any common factors. In the bottom, my factors are x minus 5 and x plus 2. In the numerator, my factors are 2 and x. So nothing can be canceled. Therefore, there are no holes. You always want to check for that first. Now I can go and find my vertical and horizontal asymptotes. Okay. Again, vertical asymptotes are whatever will make the denominator equal 0. So we set the denominator equal 0, and we solve it. Now notice we know that this factor is x minus 5 and x plus 2. If I set each of those equal to 0 and solve them, I get x is 5 and x is negative 2. So I have two vertical asymptotes. one at x equals 5, and one is the line x equals negative 2. Okay, now we need to find the horizontal asymptotes. For horizontal asymptotes, you look at your function and its degree. The degree of the numerator is degree 1. The degree of the denominator is degree 2. Okay, so what do we have there? The degree of the numerator is smaller than the degree of the denominator. So if we look at our rules down here, if the numerator is less than the denominator, the vertical, excuse me, the horizontal asymptotes are at y equals 0. So that is where our asymptote is. And that was because the degree of the numerator was less than the degree of the denominator. So here are all of my asymptotes and holes. No holes vertical asymptotes at x equals 5 and x equals negative 2, and horizontal at y equals 0.